Hi, it's Norm Sawyer here. Gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness. Sometimes people struggle because they are not grateful. They spend so much time talking about the things they do not have rather than the things they do have. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What's the will of God here? All you have to do is say thank you, and you're actually fulfilling the will of God. We see the story in the book of Luke. You have 10 lepers. They see Jesus a far distance off and they yell out and they say, Jesus, please heal us. And he does heal them. And then he says, go show yourself to the priests. And the reason for that was by law, you had to show yourself to the priest so that the priest could declare that the disease was over and that you could enter society again. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. So he was an outcast to start off with for being a leper. Plus, he was a Samaritan, which society at that time thought was a real low life. He was from the other side of the tracks sort of thing. What's interesting is Jesus' response. Were there not all 10 clean? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? This man was able within himself to stir up gratitude, thankfulness. When he saw that he had been healed, he came back to say thank you, thank you, thank you. What Jesus says at this point here is absolutely remarkable. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made you whole. What's the difference here? All ten were healed, and yet one came back and gave thanks. And then Jesus pronounced this man to be whole. All of them, yes, they were healed of their leprosy, but their fingers were still missing. The parts of the body that had been destroyed by this terrible disease were still missing. This man was made whole. He got his fingers back, ears back. He got his life back. Plus, who could imagine the uh, separation of life that these people had to live? They couldn't be hugged. They couldn't hug anybody. They couldn't come near anybody. And all of the pain of that rejection in life, Jesus made this man whole. He healed him completely in his body, in his soul, and in his spirit. Ungratefulness will keep you scarred and shallow, but gratitude, gratefulness will make you whole. God bless you.